Okay, this is a quick uh, teardown of a Hayward uh, pull vac. Um, as you can see over here, I have simple tools, a long Phillips head, a short Phillips head, a big flat head, uh, a, a medium sized small head, flat head, a uh, small, small flat head, and a uh, quarter inch hex uh, driver uh, for the uh, paddles. Take the paddles apart and I'll show a quick vid on that also. But for right now, I uh, just want to show you how to tear this down for all the other videos so you understand where I got, where I was at when you look at the next video. So I'll refer back to go to the teardown video. All right, in a nutshell, here we go. You're going to start here. Okay, that comes out quite easily. I call it the orifice plate. Try to keep things in order too as you take them out. Sequential order. Okay. Now the next stage is the lower assembly because remember this is the bottom of the Hayward. Okay. So now we've got four bolts we have to remove here, 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 and here. So let's start off doing these. so far. When taking these two screws out, be careful not to damage this flap here. Do not extend this flap between this point here or you will damage it. Okay? So be careful. That that flap is very important. If you want to go to my inspection video of what to check for, that will be one of the things you need to check to make sure it's in good shape. So hold firmly, because these are uh, hard to get out. So you just flip it over like this, in good shape, and you should have them all. Hmm. I don't know where the other one went. It sucks. Oh, voila, there it is. So, you put these over here in sequential order. And there you have your lower assembly disassembled. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the mid section area. Okay, I usually start with the ones in the middle. These are longer screws, as you can see, they're longer. And always give yourself a nice area to work at, because uh, it's easier to do it this way because you don't lose objects, like when I had to dump out those screws there because they're hard to get your fingers on. So you just turn the body, you know, you turn the body over, shake them out, usually fall out like that one did. It fell over here. I didn't see it. But at least it's in the area. It's on the towel. Okay. Got six of these screws here. Getting to the mid assembly. The mid, mid assembly uh, holds the turbine okay, and the bearings and leads you to other parts that are very important inside. Okay, like I said, keeping everything in a nice order. Okay, there we go. Now we've got those out. We want to keep pressure on here and pressure on the other side and turn it upside down. Okay, upside down. And now you want to pull that assembly that you unbolted with the six bolts. Kind of wiggle it until you can get it out. Try to be as gentle as possible. Okay, and yes, you're going to have things fall out. Okay, and your floats. Don't get your floats, put them back where they belong. Make sure they go nice and easily where they can mate up easily. This 
goes here. Okay. And there is your mid assembly. Okay. We'll put that right there. Okay, now we're going to uh, tear apart the uh, turbine area. Okay. These are short screws again. Okay. You now have to turn the unit upside down again. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 and voila, it comes out. Okay, there is your turbine. And your other gear. Okay, that looks like it's in good shape. But right now, this is just a tear down procedure. Okay, now you'll get your small screwdriver. You'll pry up, you'll pry up, you'll pry up. There we go. It comes off quite easily. Boom. We're going to put that right here. Okay, and now we're down to the top portion where we can get to the main gears up here, which help it go right and left via the control of this, the gearbox, and uh, which, which using fluid dynamics goes to the turbine. The turbine then turns these gears and uh, because of the shape of this plate, that's what's going to cause things to go right or left. But that is it for a basic teardown. And now we're going to move on to some common problems and what caused them in the next video.